Welcome to Hitchhikers TV. Yeah, boy! Before watching this video, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and hit on the bell icon to be notified whenever we published a new video lesson. In this video lesson, we will study and learn how to plant and grow bean coffee. Coffee is the most consumed beverage globally, and is second only to oil as the most valuable commodity exported by developing countries. The Philippines climate is suitable for growing Robusta, which among the coffee varieties, commands the biggest demand locally. 85% of our requirement is for Robusta coffee, the balance of 15% goes to Arabica, Librica, and Excelsa. As long as Robusta get a healthy amount of sunlight and are planted on land that does not get waterlogged or flooded, Robusta coffee can be grown successfully and profitably. Coffee beans grow on an attractive little plant with glossy green leaves and a compact growth habit. Native to Ethiopia, the coffee plant, Coffea arabica, will flower in the spring with small white flowers and then bear half-inch berries that gradually darken from green to blackish pods. Each of these fruits contains two seeds, which eventually become the coffee beans you use to brew coffee. In their native habitat, coffee plants grow into medium-sized trees. But growers regularly prune the plants to be a more manageable size, especially when the plants are grown indoors. The best time to start a coffee plant is in June to December. Note that you cannot grow coffee plants from the beans you buy in a store, those have been treated and roasted and will not sprout. Even though coffee plants are vigorous growers, it will typically take a few years before your plant produces flowers and subsequent fruits. The best environment in which to grow coffee plants is to mimic its natural conditions found on a tropical, mid-elevation mountainside. Plenty of water with good drainage, high humidity, relatively cool temperatures, and rich, slightly acidic soil. You can grow coffee plants outdoors if the conditions are similar to its natural environment. Indoors, coffee plants do best placed near a window but not in direct sunlight. Make sure to keep the plant away from drafts, such as those produced from air conditioning. Be prepared to water at least weekly to keep the soil moist. Coffee plants prefer dappled sunlight or full sunlight in weaker latitudes. They are actually understory plants, existing under the forest canopy, and do not thrive in direct, harsh sunlight. Coffee plants that are exposed to too much direct sunlight will develop leaf browning, plant coffee plants in a rich, peat-based potting soil with excellent drainage. Coffee plants prefer acidic soil, so if your plant is not thriving add organic matter such as sphagnum peat moss to increase soil pH. Coffee plants can grow in soil with a pH range of 4 to 7 but the ideal pH range is closer to 6 to 6.5, these plants are water lovers and require both regular and ample watering. The soil should stay evenly moist but not waterlogged. Never allow the soil to dry out completely, the optimal average temperature range for coffee plants is a daytime temperature between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and a nighttime temperature between 65 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Higher, hotter, temperatures can accelerate growth, but higher temperatures are not ideal for growing plants for their beans. The fruits need to ripen at a slow, steady pace. In addition, because these plants naturally grow on the sides of tropical mountains, they thrive in highly humid conditions which usually receive plenty rain and fog. A 50% or higher humidity level should suffice. If the air is too dry, the leaf edges might start to brown. Mist the plant daily to raise the humidity level. Coffee plants can also be propagated from cuttings or air layers, a somewhat involved technique where you root branches still attached to the parent plant. The best time to take a cutting is in the early summer. Select a straight shoot that's about 8 to 10 inches long and remove all but a pair of upper leaves. Then, plant the cutting in a small pot of soilless potting mix, and keep the soil slightly moist. 
When you can gently tug on the plant and feel resistance, you'll know roots have formed. All parts of the coffee plant are toxic to cats, dogs, horses, birds, and other animals. Likewise, all plant parts except for the mature fruit, the coffee bean, are toxic to humans. Common symptoms of coffee plant poisoning for both humans and animals include vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, and lack of appetite. More severe toxicity can cause an irregular heart rate, seizures, and occasionally death. Coffee Varieties Arabica has been considered the best quality of coffee due to its excellent flavor and aroma. This bean is an early bearer. After two years of transplanting, it then produces berries. Arabica's berries are oblong ellipsoid and initially green in color and later on, turn red or yellow, the indication when it is already ripe. However, this variety of coffee is susceptible to coffee rust. Live Rica or locally known as Kapeng Barico is known for its very strong taste and color. It is not an early bearer since it produces berries after 4 to 5 years from transplanting. It produces the biggest berry among the other varieties and round or in a small cluster with thick and even firm pulp. What's good about this coffee is that it is drought tolerant. Excelsa is being compared to Librica due to their similarity of producing berries after 4 to 5 years from transplanting. Berries being produced are a little compressed having a flat form. They are usually born in a heavy cluster and much bigger than Arabica but smaller as being compared to Librica. Robusta can produce berries four years after transplanting. You will notice its umbrella-shaped growth as being compared to how other coffee varieties grow. The berries are smaller than Arabica and are closely clustered. It is blood red when ripe and you will see thin pulp and even parchment. Adaptation to grow coffee, it requires a deep and loamy soil which has a good water holding capacity allowing proper circulation of air as well as right moisture needed. Farmers avoid those heavy clay soil because too much water can strongly affect their growth. It also needs to be planted in an environment that has a free air movement. Relative humidity of 70 to 85 percent and a temperature of 13 to 26 degrees Celsius is being monitored and followed which are favorable for the coffee species to grow. Arabica can be planted 900 up to 1,800 meters above sea level while the remaining three species namely Robusta, Librica, and Excelsa can be planted up to 900 meters above sea level. There are more than 120 species of plants in the coffea genus with coffea arabica making up the majority of global coffee production. Some plants in this genus include, coffea arabica nana, this is a dwarf variety that only grows 12 inches tall making it ideal to cultivate indoors. Coffea conifera, commonly known as robusta coffee, this species comes from sub-Saharan Africa. Its plants are robust, However, the coffee beans are less favored because they tend to have a stronger, harsher taste than Arabica beans. Coffea librica, this species is native to Central and Western Africa, first discovered in Liberia. It produces large fruits that have a higher caffeine content than Arabica beans but lower than Robusta beans. You sent December 30, 2020 at 4.19 p.m. An unrelated species, Psychotria nervosa is a Floridian native that known as wild coffee and is grown as a landscape plant in southern Florida. The two most grown and important coffee species are Arabica coffee, Coffea arabica, and Robusta, Coffea conifera. Arabica coffee is the most popular and considered the best. It is native to Ethiopia and Yemen, now grown commercially all over Africa, South America, and Asia. The coffee tree is a small-sized tree that grows up to 5 meters tall, average height, but in containers, you can manage the size by regular pruning. Its leaves are dark green, slightly ribbed, and shiny and attractive to eyes. The plant blooms twice in a year in its native subtropical conditions. If you grow it as a houseplant in the colder climate, it'll bloom only in summer and spring, a cluster of small snow-white flowers like jasmine with sweet fragrance will appear. Asterisk these flowers appear in the second or third year of cultivation. The plant then bears small fruits that first come in green color and later change to red. Ripe fruits can decorate the plant for several months. As time passes, the fruit does not soften or spoiled, 
but only dry up, as Arabica coffee is a rare plant, it may be possible that you'll not be able to find a potted plant in the nursery. Therefore, growing coffee from seeds might be the only option left. You'll need fresh green seeds for germination, which you can find online easily. Coffee seeds are suitable for planting throughout the year in subtropical and tropical regions, but the best time to sow them in the colder climate is spring to midsummer. Plant seeds in slightly acidic and moist soil when temperature stables around 20 Celsius. Seeds will take a long time to germinate, one month to six months. After germination, keep the young plant in partial shade, receiving only the morning sun. If you manage to find coffee seedlings or plant, which is the best option, in a garden center, select a plant with healthy green foliage and no pests or yellow lower leaves. Coffee trees are heavy feeders, some call them nutrient hogs. When young, Arabica and Robusta coffee trees need more nitrogen as the plant is building a root system, stems grow and overall this evergreen is holding lots of leaves. Without a regular feeding every two months leaves begin to yellow and leaf drop can occur. Not only does coffee want lots of nitrogen but also more an extra boost of iron. In Hawaii, you'll find coffee plantations thriving on mountains formed from iron-rich lava rock. Try incorporating lava dust into your soil, keep the plant watered and the soil moist feed the plant regularly provide light shading and no direct sun however, if temperatures head below 64 degrees degrees Fahrenheit during their flower season do not expect fruit, coffee plants should not be exposed to the direct sun, especially afternoon, as it prefers diffused sunlight. Plants grown in full sun can have leaf burns, add mix slow release fertilizer while preparing the soil and after two months of planting, apply 100 grams of citrus fertilizer to a young plant. From April to the end of August or in the growing season, the plant needs to be fertilized regularly every month. Use a fertilizer that you use for citrus. Acid-loving plants often suffer from iron deficiency, so it is better to apply iron fertilizer once a year. According to Dr. Alejandro Mojica, there are seven steps in planting coffee. Number one, acquisition of quality planting materials at the right age should have six to eight pairs of leaves, more or less one year in the nursery from the time it was sown, hardened, placed under the sun one, two months before planting in the field, suited to the right elevation. For Arabica, elevation should be 1000 m or more meters above sea level for Robusta, Librica, and Excelsa, 800 meters above sea level. Number 2. Land preparation The land should be cleared by removing weeds and unnecessary trees that cannot be used as shade. Newly opened area for planting should be intensively cleaned. Number 3, Field Layouting The layout of the field should be prepared following the recommended planting distances, for Arabica, 2 meters x 2 meters, monocropping, 2 meters x 3 meters or 2 meters by 5 meters if vegetables will be intercropped for Robusta, 2 meters x 3 meters, if in monocropping, or 3 meters x 3 meters with intercrops for Librica and Excelsa, 3 meters x 4 meters, monocropping, or 4 meters x 4 meters with intercrops, step number 4. Holding slash hole preparation The hole should be dug at least 60 cm x 60 cm to provide a good room for root development. The hole should be backfilled with topsoil and add compost. Ideally, the hole should be left for two months before planting. This allows the nutrients to be available for the new tree. Step number 5. Transplanting of seedlings Planting of coffee seedlings should be done during the cloudy days, in June through August, during the wet season. Avoid planting seedlings when the conditions are windy or hot and dry or during the hottest time of the day. Before planting, the trees should be thoroughly watered in the bags. The plastic bag should be removed when planting. The seedling should be placed upright in the hole. Do not plant at an angle. The soil should be firmly pressed with your feet. 
Step number 6. Mulching coffee plants should be mulched with a rice straw or other appropriate material to maintain the moisture of the soil. Step number 7. Fertilization The soil should be fertilized by basal application using the following recommended nutrient composition. During planting give 9.2 grams of nitrogen per tree, 49.5 grams of phosphorus per tree, 5.8 grams of potassium per tree and add compost of at least 2 kilos per tree, however 5 kilos of compost per tree will be good. <laughs>